What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm with Akash. Hi. Uh, we are at Medas Christian College. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Alright, so if you are new to this channel, my name is Akash. I make vlogs about student lifestyle and college vlogs and also some fitness videos. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified when I post vlogs. Sunny day at Mandas Christian College. Good to be back here. Uh, really like the weather today. It's so beautiful and warm. Uh, Monday morning, good to be back to the college. This is actually the college quadrangle. All the important events will happen here. view is better this one or that one I'm actually using a wide angle lens to get that extra depth which is good for blocking do let me know which angle you like the most and also uh, I'm shooting this in 60 frames per second if it feels a little bit more smooth do let me know so we are at the main entrance so that is the main entrance and this is how we enter the college and the first stop is St. Thomas's Hall So first up, we are at St. Thomas's Hall. So this is uh, one of the biggest halls. And we have six halls totally. So in Madras Christian College, we don't call it hostels, we call it halls. And this is one of the best halls. So Madras Christian College is located in Thambaram. This college is very, very huge and it's famous for its beautiful campus. This campus is a pretty unique one because it has a lot of trees, 265 acres of land. It has more trees than any other college in Chennai. So that is the playground of St. Thomas's Hall. The weather is getting uh, pretty humid actually, uh, it's pretty hard to vlog. Anyway, I actually made a vlog about MCC previously, uh, which got around 20,000 views. Thank you so much for that. Many of you guys have been uh, asking me about MCC, the college is really good. So we are now heading to the bell tower, it's located uh, night near the boxing ring. They used to conduct the uh, boxing matches over here, so that is quite famous. MCC actually constructed uh, two new buildings, one is the QAC building right over here. This is the newly constructed building in MCC. And this is the way to the athletics and the cricket ground. Now I'll show you my department, the BBA department. Many people have been asking me about that. Uh, BBA in MCC is really good. I studied BBA here. Uh, I would 100% recommend my juniors and other people to study here. BBA in MCC is ranked top 5 in uh, India. You'll be having internships in your third year. I did my internship in Decathlon. Now we're heading to our department. Hi. Actually made friends here. I said uh, I'm shooting a vlog for YouTube channel, they were pretty cool with it. Alright, so now we are heading to our department, which is right over here. So that is our department, right over here. Let's go. The classroom actually closed. You can see a small sneak peek. Uh, I think uh, they, might, they might open on September. So... We're hoping for that. Let's go to the top. We're heading to my classroom. A210. Can you see that? That is the B section actually. This is the department of business administration. I'm feeling nostalgic bros. I think I've said this before but the thing I like about this college is like, jeans and t-shirts are allowed. I think that's pretty cool uh, but you can't wear shorts and girls can't wear sleeveless. Other than that you can pretty much come in any outfits, t-shirt, cashier. Make sure you sanitize yourself. Many colleges they won't allow students to come in uh, casual clothing. Usually. Uh, tell them to wear a formal wear but in this college you can pretty much wear any dress you want oh this is actually our uh, classroom 8206 it's closed right now this is how this is the b section college is actually very safe for girl students as well i've been getting a lot of questions regarding that uh, i would say it's absolutely safe to study here 
it's pretty safe college. It's actually pretty humid and it's very hot here the vlog is getting all sweaty. If you appreciate the work and you want more vlogs, drop me a like and don't forget to subscribe. You touch this, you will get diarrhea. What's the history behind that? People fail at it, but it's not true. Uh, when you touch that, you will get like diarrhea. That's actually a myth, but who knows? It might be true, da. No, no. It just came. So we are at the quadrangle, and this is called the sun dial. Uh, I don't know how it works, but. Uh, they used to say time with this machine. I think that's pretty cool. But now we have advanced. We have we have a smartwatch literally, and you can literally see a time in your camera. I got way too questions regarding the fee structure of BBA. The fee structure for BBA comes around 1.8 lakhs. I suppose I'm not sure about that, but it's close to 1.8 lakhs for a total three years. And uh, we paid like 40,000 for the first semester and 20,000 for the second semester. We have like six semesters in total. And we basically have two streams in this college. One is the self-finance and another one is the aided stream. Aided stream is basically uh, the morning stream and the fees is uh, pretty much comparatively low than the self-finance stream. But BBA comes under self-finance stream. So BCom, you have like aided and self-finance stream and the fees comes, the fees is pretty much the same. We are now at the science department. You don't know what goes on behind these eyes. You don't know the loneliness hidden inside. You don't know I want to eat you up alive. Come and get to know me, my type of... The morning shift to college starts from 8.30 to 1.45. And the evening shift starts right after the morning shift. 1.45 to 6.15 uh, or 6 during the winters. So we have like a break, a 15 minutes break during uh, 4.15 and morning you have like around 10 30 a.m so yep and you have a like a small hospital in the college it's actually not a hospital it's more like a clinic you know if you need any first aid you can come here that building so they will take care of it they actually have doctors if you need any first aid emergency you can go there so yep and this is the bell tower You can't actually uh, feel like you're in college, like you came for some vacation or something. MCC gives that forest vibes because it has a lot of trees and I really like this place and I miss this place a lot. Those three years went like this but we are so unfortunate we didn't have our uh, travel and, uh, and also our graduation is still not confirmed yet which is pretty sad. Anyways, at least we had a chance to attend classes for three years. I hope the situation settles down quickly and the class starts again soon. And now we are at Bishop Eberall. We used to have our uh, English classes over here. Your classes would be all uh, spread up. You'll be going from various departments, uh, especially for your language. So you get to walk around the campus a lot. During our advanced summer class, uh, the professor they actually took the students to see the lake. Uh, I was on leave that day. So unfortunate. So I couldn't able to see the lake. That's right, MCC has a lake. I, I spent three years studying in this college and I still haven't uh, explored, seen the entire college because the, this college is very big. Uh, 265 acres is not a joke. I'd say I, I would have seen 70-80% of the college but there is still 20% left. And uh, yeah, they are doing that today. Now the fun part, at least for me I guess, uh, MCC has a lot of sports team. They have like 4 teams in total for football alone and uh, yeah, uh, we used to conduct a lot of matches. Football is uh, highly competitive here in MCC and if you are a pro football player or uh, want to improve yourself, this is the college for you. And talking about sports. So yeah, cricket, badminton and basketball. We also have athletics. So here you can see cricket nets. And uh, we have two football grounds over here. And over there is the athletics ground. And over there is the badminton court. The sky looks amazing. 
it's like I walked a lot. I actually got around like 8,000 steps, which is good. I'm burning calories. So I was in the college cricket team. Uh, we used to come to practice every morning at 5 a.m. My classes starts at around 1.45. So, so I used to come here in the morning all the way from Chitbet and get ready. And then I go to class. They used to conduct trials for the... UG first year students and the PG students, they used to conduct. They usually won't conduct that many matches for cricket, uh, but for football, it's a different story. They conduct around three or four tournaments over the year. So that is the cricket pitch. Check out the pavilion. And I got a couple of comments saying that whether there is a cricket team for girls. Actually, there is no separate team for cricket for girls, but they can represent the college by playing with the men's team if you do really well. I used to play cricket during my school days and Girls used to represent the schools. Can you see that? I got 8,000 steps. <laughs> That's really good. I got 8,000 steps and I haven't eaten from the morning. Time is now 2 p.m. Uh, let's check out the athletics ground now. So when I was in the first year after getting selected in the college cricket team, uh, the seniors told me to come here uh, to discuss about the match stuff. If you are a junior, representing the college you should get into this pond it's a kind of tradition we are like some crazy tradition in MCC uh, speaking of traditions a lot of traditions in all we are like two options you can uh, you can follow the tradition which is recommended and if you're not into traditions you can definitely uh, say no to them so this is the athletics ground oh hi there hi see you Yeah, strong. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about the campus placements. During your third year, first semester, there will be like a lot of companies will be coming to the college to conduct interviews. And you should have a really good uh, personage so this is like a mini children park look at the date it was constructed 1966 this college has a lot of amazing ancient histories which i'm not familiar of we're now heading to the the main football ground i'll show you guys so this is the main football ground where they used to like a lot of matches and both there that building is the new canteen all right, so let's talk about food. My favorite part for breakfast, you have like Italy, Vada, Pongal, all the good South Indian stuff. Also, can find red omelette and fresh juices and tea. My favorite is tea. I drink like 10 chai in a day when I study here, which I don't recommend. For lunch, you'll be having uh, chicken biryani, beef biryani, chicken fried rice in the menu. And the price is comparatively very cheap in this uh, canteen. You can find a really good uh, lunch on a budget because students. We usually be in the budget, so yep, it's pretty cheap. I think the canteen is closed right now. That's the canteen. Actually, they newly renovated this building. Uh, it was constructed uh, when I was in my third year. So for the first two years, we had a different canteen, like a temporary canteen. You don't know what goes on behind these eyes. You don't know what it is. It's great. It's great, huh? It feels so new. What's up, Bruce? Welcome back. What an amazing day. As usual, we had a good breakfast in the canteen. Good food, really good food. No, cold. it was too cold. cold. It was too cold. <laughs> we usually have chai, but today we tried watermelon. It was actually amazing. You guys Did come to MCC, <laughs> never the chance to try our watermelon, watermelon juice so yep i think that's it for the campus tour thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and share this video with your friends we'll be uploading more similar videos like this so make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever i drop you vlogs video convinced you to join in mcc do let me know and also if you're planning to join here i think that's really a good choice because it's true Supernova burned into you like a shooting star. I was craving for you to come to me. Though this way of life, no, it ain't healthy. But one last time, yep. Please, I love the most in my life. Please, a lot of memories. Uh, I wish I come back again. Hey, it will never be enough.